These are the Balak Mile cup and ring mark stones. Also glyphs of other designs such as star shapes and so on. Here's a classic star shape. This is old red sandstone, a desert stone from the Permian period, so many millions of years ago. These boxes with grooves or cups inside them are unique in Scotland. Another unique feature is that uh, these Balakmal Cumbrimark stones are on a vertical surface. Others have been found on horizontal surfaces. Some form multiple concentric rings, reminiscent of the sort of pool you get when you throw a stone, you get a ripple in concentric rings. So one suggestion is that uh, the liminal, that is the threshold between one form, that's the air and the water, was significant to people who created these. And maybe they saw dropping a stone at the water as being some form of offering. And that these rings on stone are another way of communicating. Obviously we're looking at belief here in the, the animal locus, that is the, the belief that objects that were not living did have significance. Here's multiple cups. It's also been recognized that the natural fissures and marks, grooves, cups within the rock may have been seen by the people who created these as being made by the gods. And what they were doing is replicating that for some form of maybe religious purpose Many other suggestions, such as they are found near sites where there is metals. Other suggestions that maybe in some way relate to genealogy, such as the central cup is the mother, and each ring represents a child. And on occasions where grooves run from one to another, it's showing family relationships. What is puzzling is this, is this sort of marking found throughout the world. So there must be something in common that gave rise to it. I ask yourself the question, why don't you get marks such as triangle or egg shapes or more common use of a square? Here appears to be totally natural cups just caused by erosion. Again, suggestions, speculation that that uh, somehow made these rock faces significant. This is the second panel at Balak Mile. Seems to be artistic differences here. A lot more scattered cups. There are cups here with grooves running down. There are some cups of rings, some quite large ones. Now these are old desert sands formed into rock. So these fissures, they may have been used to frame the works, also determine the size. Here's a particularly large cup and ring. This is thought to be authentic, 1757, although these weren't reported and recorded until 1986. Cup and rings were created from about 4000 BC to about 1500 BC, that is the Neolithic going into the Bronze Age. Here's some unusual pockmarks. 
Now this whole face was covered in vegetation and when the King and Clue estate were clearing it, vegetation fell down and uh, a local individual spotted these. They've been deteriorating ever since and there's been a fair degree of vandalism. There's even been sections hacked off and taken away. So this is the first panel. Second panel lies in the distance. It appears to be only two panels, although there's extensive quarrying further down, so some may have been lost. This area always seems to have been fairly hidden. It's a small stream running down the bottom, and the river air is nearby. Does this remind you of anything?